I was recruited by uh, Kit Mariah and Megan Hope. Here's an interesting message. Written apparently by KGGV station manager Peter Andrews, and um, by Kit Mariah, moderator of the Guerneville Community Church. Note that it was actually written well before Strawberry Festival 2013 ever took place. June 23rd, 2013. To all KGGV volunteer DJs, recently past and present, this six months has certainly been the most traumatic of all the past eight years of KGGV's history. The recent Strawberry Festival, our eighth year this, was successfully put on by a somewhat new team of volunteers, led by Kelly Lynn. That's what happens in organizations, and in organisms. You incur a wound, and to survive, you reorganize, or go through a triage. You stop the bleeding, and then heal the wound. KGGV wants to survive. Its heart and soul is deep within the GCC. KGGV needs to reorganize in order to survive. This is maybe not such a bad thing. KGGV is in need of revitalization, new blood, new ideas, new ways to make community radio meaningful to those within KGGV, and those listeners who pay attention to us. The Strawberry Festival brought us more than half a dozen new applications for radio shows on KGGV. We are on a rebuilding path now. There are no reserve time slots anymore, nor any vacationing programs, nor people on hiatus. If you've had a program in the past, you'll get a priority bump from the PC for consideration, but we're not blocking out or reserving any time slot that doesn't have an active DJ on air weekly. KGGV will survive. The GCC will survive. The GCC is revitalizing its facilities to become a more viable entertainment and meeting venue, competitive with the Vets Hall. The radio station will readjust its target market to appeal to a broader base. This October, 2013 is set as an open FCC window for application for new community FMLP radio stations. KGGV would encourage and to support more community radio, and just as we love our sister station in Occidental, KOWSLP 107.3 FM, we would love a new family member along the Russian River, should that new arrival come to term. KGGV station manager Peter Andrews, GCC council moderator Kit Mariah. The questions remain. Who really bankrolled the Strawberry Festival? And who is the Strawberry Queen? And why were there so many leftovers served at KGGV's business meeting, held on Monday, the 24th? But let's a look at some of the figures that came out after the Strawberry Festival. From the looks of things, these may be far more realistic than what was presented earlier. It's been reported that between four and five hundred people attended. Taking a look at the pictures, taken in time marked during the event, those numbers are doubtful. It's been reported that about $1,350 was the net take. If one subtracts the supposed $200 in expenses, an ostensible profit of $1,150 remains. That's not very much. The church got all the food sales money, $200, perhaps $400, who knows? The Strawberry Festival was reported on Peter Andrew's Facebook page as being the best ever. No comment there, other than that $5,000 was cleared last year. Ho oh, hum. So it goes.
I think because of the talent that we have, that some of these shows are going to get recognized. Once it does, the word is going to spread. 